Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. It's Patricia and we are still sniffing through this catalog. So today we are on the Woods collection. This is, I want to say probably my favorite category of this catalog because you guys know I love a manly, masculine, woodsy, smoky, sultry kind of scent. So this is all me so we're just gonna jump into it and start off with a brand new fragrance and it is around the campfire now you guys know i highlighted this one on the new arrivals um of the 10 new scents that have come i have ordered a full bar of this so you'll probably see a review or at least i'll show you an unboxing sometime this week Oh, you guys know I'm always here for the smoke. I love it. So since he says that, it says, make some memories in the mountain air as notes of fresh fallen wood and smoky embers help set the scene. Wood and smoky embers. Yes, please. Next we have Be Merry and... This is a returning scent from last year. Of course, it's a Christmas scent. So Be Merry is described as joy abounds in pine boughs dotted with holly leaf and cassis. It is a very, it's a your typical kind of fruity um, Christmas fragrance, but smells really good, nice, sweet Christmas fragrance. So that is Be Merry. Next, we have a holiday classic, and that is Cedar Cider. Bring on the cider. Oh, it smells so good. It's just, it's cider. If you like cider, this is what you need. It smells absolutely heavenly. This was in my club for a hot second last year, too. So let's get into it. Cedar Cider. An autumn medley of the reddish apples, cinnamon sticks, vanilla beans nestled among fragrant white cedar branches. <sighs> Come on, y'all. It's so, so good. Of course, you smell the cedar. The cinnamon is in there, but it's not spicy at all. You can get a little bit of the apple. It's just the perfect fragrance. This is first day of fall or fall is about to be here and I can't wait. So I'm gonna put this in and we're gonna just warm it all throughout fall and maybe even up till Christmas, just saying. Next is Christmas Cactus. This is another traditional Christmas scent, of course. But this is a fresh scent. It's very fresh, light. It's not like a tree scent, so it's not that Christmas tree slapping you in the face type of scent. It's very light and fresh. So Christmas cactus is described as agave, nectar, and citrus trim Siberian fur for a new kind of winter wonderland. So that's what I'm saying. It is not your traditional Christmas scent. So this is a lighter version of the holidays, if you will. Next is Cranberry Garland, another holiday classic. Sweet, sweet cranberry fragrance. It just smells like the holidays. Mm, it is so good. So Cranberry Garland is... Sweet tart cranberry surrounded, oh, surrounded, grounded by sage and earthy pine cones. So, you get that cranberry, of course, but you do, the sage doesn't really come out on coal. You know there's something else mixed in it, but you can't really get that sage note on coal. But you can get that kind of earthy note on coal, which is the pine cone. So, beautiful, beautiful scent. Next up is evergreen and grapefruit. So, you already know this is going to be real different. 
and it is just a beautiful kind of um, Christmas tree citrus scent and you get that slight tree note but then there's something light and refreshing it's so good oh yeah once you rub it that grapefruit that citrus note starts to come out but it's not if you don't like citrus you can still love this one i'm not a citrus person but i like this one it's just the perfect blend so it says fresh fir needles and white cedar sparkle with radiant notes of grapefruit this is a good one like i said i am not a citrus person and i even love this one next up is iced pine so you already know this is going to be that christmas tree scent this is going to be tree just tree tree and that's what it is it is the christmas tree scent fresh cut you just came off the lot with the tree you put it in the house you leave it alone to let it let it breathe and kind of stretch out that's what this is and your whole room is smelling like christmas tree this is it if you do not have um, a real tree but you want that tree smell this is what you need so the notes for ice pine it says as refreshing as a walk through newly fallen snow green fir and pine kissed by icy peppermint tree next up is just for you oops once again we know what this one is about but this is not just tree there's a sweetness to this one i forgot it's been a minute i forgot until i stuck my nose in it this one is tree now but I think there's a little something sweeter in this one. So let's see what Just For You is about. Just For You, well, it's new, duh. Just For You, Wild Blackberry offers its one-of-a-kind sweetness to a forest of fir balsam and pine needles. So that is where the sweetness was coming from. I had forgot that quick that this was one of the new scents. And I'm looking like, okay, I know this is not supposed to be another tree scent because why would Scentsy put two nothing but tree scents in a catalog? It's good. It's really good. You got to try this one out. Mm. Closer to when it gets cold, I will definitely get this one. I just don't feel like smelling Christmas tree right now. This is just me. Okay, next up, I'm just going in the order right here, is Mystery Man, which is a bestseller. I do not have a tester of this one, but I have bought it over and over again. I love it. My husband loves it. It's described as warm white cedar, green verbena, and citrusy bergamot in a perfectly spiced, sensual fragrance. It's a great scent. It's a manly scent. There are a lot of women that love this scent as well. It's just, it smells like it's that good smelling man scent. That's what it smells like. So, mystery man for the win. Next on the list is Pretty in Plaid, which I do have that one. Pretty in Plaid was a scent of the month. I want to say it was for last December and it came back as part of the catalog so and it's really been around all year long it's a really pretty scent and you would kind of think okay pretty and plaid we knew it was a um a december scent how did it last all year because it's not that christmas tree scent it's not really that scent that you would smell it and think okay christmas it's a great scent just an all year round scent, which is why it was back all year round. So it's, it's, I can't really describe this. I can't really give you a description on it. So let's just read the notes on this one. Pretty and plaid, juniper berries vibe with minty fresh wintergreen, festive Douglas fir and bright 
tart cranberries. Very pretty scent. Like I said, you can have it going all year round. It's just a great, it has something in there for everybody. So you're not gonna warm this and automatically think Christmas. If you put it on around the holidays, it works. If you just put it on on a Tuesday, it works. It's just a great overall fresh, nice, pretty scent. Pretty and plod. Next one is Saddle Up. I don't have a tester of that one, but I have bought it over and over again. Love this scent. So Saddle Up is right here and it says capture some on the range reverie with soft, soft suede, aged leather, sheer musk, and a breath of fall. And the next one we have is sheer leather right there. And it says slip into something more sensual like bergamot, a subtle hint of leather, and sandalwood. Now the reason why I read both of those at the same time is a lot of people compare these two scents together. I've compared them together and told you the difference in what I think they smell like. So Saddle Up to me is more of a leather scent with some perfume in the background. Sheer Leather is a sheer leather scent but it's more heavier on the perfume. So to me, it's more perfume forward. So that's how I remember both fragrances. I love both fra fragrances for different reasons. Sheer Leather is a strong fragrance. You would think something called Sheer would be, you know, something that was gonna fade out like that. Sheer Leather can go two full days and you can still smell it. Love it. Um, saddle Up. Trying to remember, did I get two days out of Saddle Up or not? It's a good scent. It's a um, long lasting scent. I don't remember if I got two days out of it or not, but it's a great scent as well. Love them both. And the last tester that I have is Very Snowy Spruce. And I don't remember what this one smelled like. Tree. It smells like tree. It smells like a tree. Okay. It smells like tree, so I guess there are two straight up tree scents in the catalog. So let's see what Scentsy says about very snowy spruce. Breathe in fresh forest air, balsam spruce, and cedar branches. Embrace the warmth of amber and woody pine cones and very snowy spruce is a bestseller so there you go so i guess you can have more than one kind of straight tree scent in the catalog because on warm each one is going to be bringing something a little bit different to the table so the very last fragrance that is listed in the woods collection is this one right here and that is weather leather. So yet again, we have another leather scent. So since he says, step into an old fashioned saddle shop brimming with dark suede, tool leather, and vintage saddles over a backdrop of oak. So let's get into the difference. Now we have three leather scents. Weather leather, the one that I just read you, is straight up leather. Weathered leather is you walk into a Wilson's, uh, how many people remember Wilson's leather? You walk into a Wilson's leather store, you walk into a boot shop, um, something like that where it's just all leather and that leather scent just slaps you upside the head. You're almost suffocating in the leather scent. It's just leather, leather, leather. That is weathered leather. So it is pretty much just leather so if you, it's great for a car though if you want that new car smell put um weather leather in your car oh my god it is absolutely perfect some people like a leathery scent so there is room for weather leather so 
like I said, out of the three leathers, we have Saddle Up, which is leather with perfume on the back end. We have Sheer Leather, which is more perfumey and less leather. And then we have Weather Leather, which is straight all up in your grill leather. So let me know if you had any questions on anything that you've seen in this lovely woods collection or Scentsy in general. And we will be back with another category soon. Um, my Woof Box, I think, is coming tomorrow. I just want to say, um, spoiler alert, this is a Woof Box you want to get. There's going to be a lot of wax. Uh, there's a product in the box that's new, so you're going to want to check that out. Believe me, just get it. It will be worth it. You're going to be getting way more than $30 with the product, I promise. So, as always, thank you for watching. Please remember to thumbs up, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.